I decided to take a picture of the back of the office runner base so that we could go over the switches. I know it's not as exciting as a video, but it should make it easier to see. So first, let's look at the ABC switch. Yours is set at A. Let's keep it there. For most phones, the office runner works on A. If you're not getting any dial tone at all, then try B or C. But really, this is a compatibility switch. So if it's working, there's no need to change it. And on most phones, it works on A. Next, at the top, we have the microphone volume. That's how your callers hear you. So if you're too loud to your callers, then turn this closer to zero. If you're not loud enough, simply turn it closer to nine. Controls your volume. Lastly, in white toward the bottom, you'll see a one, two, three, four, five, six. So these control different things. Most of the times you're not going to need to touch these, but there are some that you might want to change. So first, switch number three. It's currently set in long range, which is going to give you the up to 400 feet that you love. But if you want to have a little longer battery life, you could switch this switch down. You won't have as much range, but you have longer battery life. Next, and most importantly, is switch four, which is auto link. Basically, when this is switched up, to activate your headset, you need to push the button on the headset to turn it on and off. But if you switch this switch down, then your headset will automatically turn on as soon as you pull it out of the base. There won't be a need to push the button, and it will automatically turn off when you put the headset back in the base. So that kind of sums up the switches on the back. Any questions, just give us a call.